Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we are checking out a new Sativian model in 14C28N blade steel. I'm very excited to see this steel or them using this steel. This is the ST138 by Sativian. It is pretty beefy. Um, not to the point to where it's uncomfortable, but it's on the verge because it is very broad. But in return, it you feel like you're holding a fixed blade. It is very locked in. <laughs> in uh, um, in my hand, it, it is not going to go anywhere. I can push this thing through very dense material comfortably. Um, this blade shape is just going to be a beast for utility cuts. You know, it's just designed for that. It kind of, I kind of like how it um, scoops down and then it like scoops and then waves forward a little bit. It might not come over. Eh, maybe it will. But it's pretty unique. But what it does do is it gives me, when I put pressure down, all the leverage is going right to the tip. So even if I'm back here, when I'm like this, all the pressure is going to the tip. So utility cuts are going to be amazing. Even, um, you know, cutting straps and things will be pretty comfortable because, you know, it, it's somewhat neutral in a way. I know there's grooves and stuff, but you can, you know, use it in different grips pretty easily. The action is really good and this is the thing man this is only like 34 bucks 35 bucks something like that um i'm gonna link it down in the description it comes in multi multiple different versions and it's pretty good it's pretty damn good considering um how how affordable it is they're using a, a good steel a good stainless steel the action's really good and like look at this just li this little detail right here i think is very important when you unlock the knife See what happened? I was already past the detent. I don't have to sit there and fumble around on the detent trying to get it past. Nope, it's always past it because it's up very high on the lock bar, meaning that it's very early when you disengage it. It's very easy to get past. Also, I find that it's very easy to, well, normally it is, <laughs> to reverse flick as long as you kind of use the satin finish. However, the satin finish is very fingerprinty, but that's the way 14C 28N steel is with this type of belt satin. So when companies do 14C 28N, they need to know or need to remember that you should go with a coarser belt. This belt is entirely way too fine for 14C. On other steels, it would be great, but specifically on 14C, it does this rainbow effect, which looks really cool. It looks beautiful, but the problem is it is so fingerprinty. I mean, it, it's it's bad. And um, even though it's easy to clean off just by making it a stone wash or putting a uh, heavier belt satin on it, it'll you know be fine. So couple complaints I have, even though, you know, I, I actually do um, like this thing. I think it's a little ugly, <laughs> but, you know, usefulness and everything, it seems pretty good. But I do have a couple complaints. One, T6s all the way around and a lot of them. I do not like to see that. So lots of T6s. It's very smooth though, man. Very smooth. And, you know, you got this extra standoff back here that, you know, and I don't know how this backspacer that makes it really durable it feels very tough and strong um no flex or anything like that but the next negative thing is you would think this choil would be good right well it's almost good but it does have one major flaw is that even though they did cut out a finger choil which is good they didn't go far enough to get past the plunge grind the plunge grind tapers it starts here and it tapers to basically to the edge. Now, if you keep the same angle that's already on the knife when you sharpen it, it'll prob probably be fine. You probably won't even recognize anything. But if you lower back the angle significantly, then it's going to get us a little bit of a smile. It won't be so horrible on this because of the way the knife, because of the choil basically, but, um, but it will have a little bit, especially because when I measured it, 
This was all about 15 thousandths behind the edge, and this was 23, 24 thousandths right here. So it goes from thicker to thinner. The geometry is really good, though. Really good geometry, really good cutting geometry. Now, the next negative thing, which, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know. I don't even know if I think this is a negative thing at this point because this micarta is kind of unique, right? I think it's kind of ugly micarta. However, this machining that they're doing on it, I don't know if the camera will do it justice, but whatever this micarta is, it's got some machining lines on there and it kind of looks cool with the machine lines. It's probably not going to do it as much justice as it does with the naked eye, but you can see the machine lines going, you know, at an angle. Plus you have the micarta, you know, micarta <laughs> that is, you know, layered in a way. So you can see the fibers, the way they were layered, plus the milling on top. It looks kind of cool, but I do think that this is kind of crappy micarta. Um, if you want to call it micarta. I don't even know what, what it's really called or what it really is made out of, <laughs> to be honest. Um, some sort of fabric, I would imagine, in resin. Um, anyways, other than that, I'm not going to complain about the clip. I think the clip is just fine. Um, I'll tell you what, there's times where I am happy to see a non-deep carry clip, and this is just one of them. One, it's going to be easy to uh, put in and out of your pocket. Really nice, nice and comfortable, nice and smooth, in and out of the pocket. Um, and the best part, it's comfortable in the hand. It's very comfortable. I don't feel the clip at all. So I give it a, an A plus on the clip right now. I, I tell you what, man, I am about sick and tired of clips being, uh, very aggravating in the hand. And this is not one of them. This one's great. So, but it just, man, it can really destroy some knives. Now, there's a lot of times where I'm okay with it. It's not that big of a deal. You know, like, yeah, it sucks, but it's a clip. And I'd rather have a clip than no clip, right? I'd rather have a clip than no clip. However, not to the point to where it's hurting me to use the knife. The one other little negative thing is it is very broad. Very broad, even though it's really comfortable in my hands. I wonder how it's going to be in somebody that has smaller hands because it's on the verge of being too broad for me. For me, it's perfect though. So I know if it's perfect for me, if somebody has a little bit smaller hand than me, it's going to be too broad for them. So you got to consider that if you have large hands and you like knives that feel like fixed blades in your hand, that are all their folders. This might be uh, your cup of tea. Anyways, I will link everything I can down in the description if you want to check out some of the other options and things like that, the different colors and materials and stuff. Um, if you don't like this micarta stuff, it does come in G10. And like I said, there's a couple different options, but uh, pretty cool pivot collar. I think it's just steel. I'm not positive on it. I tried using a magnet and I, I couldn't get the magnet to really pick up, so it might be aluminum actually. You know, maybe something you can anodize or mess with if you really wanted to. But anyways, love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.